Hey guys, welcome back to Show Me Firearms. I'm joined today by Ian from Gunbuster. Ian, how's the gun world over on Gunbuster? You know, it's pretty much the same. Yep, all right. So today we're gonna be shooting charcoal because the world wants to know how many bags of charcoal it takes to stop a bullet. It's not exactly true, but we're gonna shoot it anyway. And for our grand finale, I've got one round in particular that I'm pretty excited about and it could revolutionize how you light up your charcoal when you're gonna to go to do your barbecue parties. So be sure to stick around for that. Let's break out the guns and see how many bags of charcoal it takes to stop a bullet. All right, 22 long rifles up first out of the Ruger Mark II. Ian, predictions for 22. It'll go through one. Yeah, I agree. I think it's gonna stop in the first. So let's find out. All right, let's go check it out. Okay, clean hit right down here in the bottom of bag number one. Ah, it did not come out of the first. Yep. All right, one bag of charcoal will stop a 22 long rifle. Now we knew that 22 would not do a whole lot, but we had to do it just as a control. All right, nine mils up next. Ian's gonna be using my SIG P365X, doing 115 grain full metal jacket. I think this is gonna go through the first, stop in the second. Ian, what's your prediction? Yeah, I'd give it about that. All right, let's do it. Clean hit, let's go check it out. Okay, nine mil, clean hit, right there, what do we got? Yep, went through bag number one, no bag exit. number two. No exit, did not go through bag number two. I'm telling you guys, we're nailing this thing today. Both Ian and me have called it with 22 and nine mil so far. Up next, we've got 45 ACP. Predictions for 45, Ian? I think I'll go through one more than the nine mil. Uh, I'm gonna say it's gonna stop in bag number two. I think it'll go through the first. It will not come out of the second. But let's find out. Big, fat, and slow. That's the beauty of 45. Two Okay, entrance for a 45 right there. Yep, blew through bag number one. No exit. It did not exit. <laughs> I am on a roll today, guys. I called all three of these rounds that we have shot so far. What did you say for 45, Ian? I said at least three. Ah, uh, okay. Well, so far, we have not been able to make it out of bag number two, but we've got bigger guns. We can defeat this charcoal. All right, 357's up next, and Ian brought out his beautiful Colt Python. Yeah. What a work of art. All right, what kind of round are we shooting out of this today, Ian? It's a lead hard cast. Lead hard cast, all right. Let's send that 357 at that charcoal. Oh, and just so you guys know, we switched the two bags up front, so we have two fresh bags up front. We moved the ones that we've already shot to the back. All right, 357 out of the Colt Python. Okay, let's go check that out. Solid hit, right there. Look how clean that entry hole is. That is a clean entry hole. Blew through bag number one, into bag number two. Out, bag. Came through bag number two, into bag number three. And stopped. Stopped, all right. Yep, yeah, this charcoal. hole. Hmm. It's actually doing a pretty good job, I mean, Stop 357 in only three bags? It's actually pretty impressive. So I think we're gonna get out bigger guns. I mean, I didn't want to do that, but it looks like we're gonna have to. So you're welcome guys. You get to see bigger guns in today's video. I know you did not want to see that. I didn't want to do it either, but you know, we got to do what we got to do. Up next, 44 Magnum out of my Taurus Tracker 44. We are shooting an FMJ today. So that will give us the best chance possible at getting as far as we can through those bags of charcoal. I think 44 mag will go through three stop in the fourth. What do you think, Ian? I think it'll do probably the same as the 357. So stop in the third. Probably okay. the third. Let's find out. Okay. Nice hit right down here at the bottom. Ooh, that is a big exit. 
That's a big exit hole. All right, bag number two. All right, blew through bag number two. It stopped. It stopped. You were right, Ian. It stopped in bag number three. This charcoal is actually pretty effective at stopping these rounds. All right, up next, we've got the 44 Magnum's big brother. The 454 Casul out of, what kind of revolver is this? A Raging Judge Magnum. Raging Judge Magnum. So for size comparison, that right there is 44 Magnum. There's your 454 Casul. Absolutely enormous pistol round. How many do you think it's gonna go through, Ian? I think it's gonna go through, uh, I think it'll go through four. Yeah, I think it'll stop in the fourth. This is a, uh, a uh, um, hollow point, so. Yeah, well, I think it'll go through three, stop in number four. It's a 300 grain hollow point. All right. Send it. Solid hit, right there in the middle. What do we got? Straight through, number one. Number two. Stopped in number three, what the heck? None of them make it through it. That should have gone in number four. I, this charcoal is, that's, that's it. That, what is this space age technology? Charcoal stopping 454 in only three bags? That is crazy. I thought sure it would go into the fourth. Okay, double up buckshot is up next out of the Panzer Arms M4. This is not gonna go nearly as far as 44 mag or 454. I think it won't make it out of the first, but it should disintegrate bag number one pretty good. So let's see what that looks like. That's a lot of damage on the front side of bag number one. His guts came out the back. No way, it actually made out of bag number one. I thought it would stop. The buckshot is pretty, pretty bad. Okay, all right, all right. We made it into bag number uh, three. Uh, bag number four, what is going to bag number uh, three? Oh, oh, well, you know what, you know what? It went, that was uh, at the top of the bag. Yeah. So there's no charcoal up here, it's just empty space. Well, there's so, charcoal right here. Well, it's just charcoal dust, looks like. I, I don't uh, think that, that went to bag, what, number five? I don't think that really went through any charcoal. I think it just went through the empty space through, they have up at the top. We'll just say two. Let's bags. see. It, okay, yeah, yeah. It definitely stopped. Yeah. Well, here's a pellet right there. That's a Yeah, three. so it looks like we made it into bag number three with pellets that actually hit charcoal. All the stuff up here just went through empty space in the top of these bags. But still... <laughs> Three rounds double up buck messed up these first two bags. I think we'll have to move these to the back. Okay, two, two, three is up next out of my Ruger AR556. We're just doing a 55 grain FMJ today. Predictions. I'm gonna say it'll go through bag number one, but stop in bag number two. Ian, what do you think? I think it'll stop in three. Stop in number three, okay. One way to know. Probably be wrong. Let's go check it out. Oh, man. Okay, so I hit pretty low. Right down here. What do we got? Okay, out. Bag number two. In. It, st it stopped. Wait. Whoa. There's a little rip right there. It did not go through that, though. No. It stopped in bag number two. Wow. Okay. I was right. Went through one. Stopped number two. I mean... 223, it's only 55 grains. It just does not have the mass to keep going like some of the bigger rounds. So I'm thinking that's what did it for 223 is it's just so lightweight. But we've got bigger oh, guns. It's 223. Yeah, it's 223, not 556. Five, no, no, it was 223. Uh, Which, I, guys, I know 223 is not nearly as hot as 556, but 556. Five, round. <laughs> but 556 five, is expensive. So, you know, look, I'm on a budget. So you got 223. I'm sorry guys, but that's just how it is. Up next, we've got 762 by 39 out of my Palmetto Arms AK. Predictions for this scene, what do you think? Well, 
And this is just 123 grain full metal jacket that we're shooting today. I'm yeah. gonna say it will go through, it's gonna stop in bag number two. I'm thinking bag number three. Okay, so I say stop in bag number two, Ian says stop in bag number three. But there's one way to know. 762 by 39. Okay, in, out, look at the size of that actually compared to 223, that is pretty cool. I can already tell you you lost. Okay, in to bag number two, out of bag number two, did we go out of, yep, we went into bag number 762 for really the win. Near. Stopped at number three, all right, Ian, you nailed that one. I'm telling you, the Russians are better at barbecue. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. All right, so 762 by 39 will go through two bags and it will stop in the third. All right, we've got one more round. This is our last chance to defeat all of this charcoal, but I don't think we're going to do it today. 308's up next out of my Remington 783. This is a 165 grain full metal jacket we're shooting for now, but we've got another round we'll break out later. But first, we got to have our control with a normal FMJ. So let's send this downrange to see how many bags of charcoal we can make it through. Okay. Firing. Look at all that charcoal dust. Okay. Entrance hole right there in bag number one. Blew out bag number one. Into number two. Whoa. Dude. Out number two. That round was definitely tumbling. And it brought some charcoal with it. Okay, and it's all smashed up down there in bag number three. Stopped in bag number three. Huh. I thought it would at least go into the fourth. That's crazy. Man, this stuff is so good at stopping these rounds. Like, I don't think we've gotten anything past the fourth bag so far in today's video. So, charcoal. It's pretty darn good at stopping bullets, but what charcoal doesn't do well with is fire. All right, we are back to 308, and we're just shooting regular full metal jacket rounds yet again. There's definitely nothing special about these, okay? YouTube, just normal full metal jackets out of a hunting rifle, okay? It's not an assault weapon, it's a hunting rifle shooting regular full metal jackets. Nothing special, nothing to see here. Get over yourselves. All right, let's do it. Firing. Okay, so we peppered this thing with four rounds of normal 308. And totally shredded it that first bag and uh, nothing nothing's on fire which you know that's to be expected with full metal jacket um not exactly the result I was hoping for I mean I was hoping we could light our barbecue with that but uh I guess we just better stick with a uh, normal lighter to get your charcoal started maybe a little bit of a lighter fluid if you want but uh just get some dragons breath. Yeah, that would do it too, but uh, unfortunately, those normal rounds of 308 that I was shooting didn't do it. Um, oh well, is what it is. All right guys, so there you have it. Um, I was hoping we could have discovered a new way of lighting up your barbecue. Today's video using nothing but firearms, but it did not work out unfortunately. Maybe we'll revisit this in the future and uh, try to guarantee some results result that we did not get in today's video so there you have it guys that's going to do it for me today ian thanks so much for coming on the channel helping out really really appreciate that and uh where can the people find you on youtube uh gunbuster gunbuster all right go check them out i'll leave a link in the description below ian and his brother daniel they've got lots of cool guns in there lots of great content so be sure check them out and hit that subscribe button over on their channel also be sure to subscribe to show me firearms and don't forget to check out my brand new merch store it's all in the description down below and underneath this video 
Thanks so much for watching today's video. I appreciate y'all being here. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, show me them firearms. What a way to set up a monster mower, am I right? So much freedom!